want to become a cabin crew but you don't know if you meet all the requirements, watch our video and you will discover if you are the perfect person for this job. Age To work for Qatar Airways and for all other Middle East airlines, the minimum age is 21. But what is the maximum age? Actually, they don't specify, but I would say it's better if you're under 30. I've seen new crew above 30 years old. So if you're 33 or 35, you may have chances. Height. How tall should be a cabin crew? You have to reach 212 centimeters with your arm. You have to be barefoot, but you can stay on your tiptoes. Again, the maximum height is not specified, but I would say they prefer a maximum of 185 centimeters. Weight. Your body has to be proportional to your height, so you should have a pleasant appearance. If you have 5 extra kilograms, it's fine, but if you have 15 extra kilograms, then you should do something about this before your open day. Tattoos. As a Qatar Airways cabin crew, you are not allowed to have any tattoo, visible or not visible in uniform. So if you have any, I would suggest you to remove it because they will check during medicals. English. English is the only language you have to know. Any other language is an advantage for your interview. But they will not pay you more if you know English, Spanish, French and Japanese. It's the same thing. The only language that can bring you some more money is Arabic. How good should be your English? The English test is not that difficult. There are questions based on a text, few grammar questions, fill the missing words and one mini essay. The subject can be what's your best quality or write about cultural differences. Swimming. Do you have to know how to swim? The official answer is yes, but my answer is no. Why? Because when I had my ditching training, I saw a lot of people who didn't know how to swim. All you have to do is to go inside the water wearing a life jacket, make a circle with your colleagues holding your hands and then go out. So if you don't panic, everything will be fine. Education. Do you need special studies? For Qatar Airways, the answer is no. You don't need university, but of course it may be an advantage in your CV. All you need is a high school diploma. Health. They will check your eyes, ears, your lungs and spine, and also they will check you for syphilis, hepatitis, tuberculosis and AIDS. Glasses. You can wear glasses, but only classic glasses, not red, pink or shiny. Also, you can wear lenses, but not colored. Braces. If you have braces, you have to wait until you remove them because they are not allowed. Tattooed eyebrows. Tattooed eyebrows are not allowed, but if they are very natural, for sure nobody will tell you anything. Hair extensions. Hair extensions are not allowed. They are allowed only for girls with African hair. False eyelashes. I will tell you the same thing I told you about tattooed eyebrows. If they look natural, not too long, not too thick, nobody will tell you anything. Smoking. Qatar Airways is a strictly non-smoking airline. All cabin crew members are not allowed to smoke at all, not even at home, in layovers or during your vacation. Scars Your scars or birthmarks should not be visible while in uniform. If you have a scar that is visible in uniform, the recruiters will judge based on the size and appearance of the scar. The smaller and the less noticeable, the better. Short hair it depends how short your hair is. If your hair is beautifully styled and gives you a feminine appearance, you should not have any problem. Dyed hair. If your hair is dyed in a color one or two shades lighter or darker than your natural hair, everything is fine. If the difference is significant, 
you may be asked to change your hair color. Personality. I would say that recruiters are looking for friendly people ready to help their colleagues, positive, professional, and flexible. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to discover more interesting things about cabin crew life, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.